and welcome back to the forest. Ha ha. Now, um, last time there was a slight problem in that I died, and I completely forgot to save. I mean, I was right there. I went all the way around the friggin' island. I built a little shelter. I could have saved. It was right there. A little temporary shelter thing I could have saved at. And I just didn't do it, and I died. Which meant I had to restart from my last save. So here we are, right back here again. Now I did rebuild my uh, little cabin right here. And I restocked all my logs. As well as filling up my stick holder. So I'll have plenty of stuff to do. Plenty of stuff to build with this time. So, now let's light this fire up a little bit. And, uh... No, uh, I did find a couple bunnies, and there's one right there. Yum! Filled with hunger. Well, not filled with hunger. I'm no longer hungry. Uh, and my fire keeps going out. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Now, like I said last time, right at the end of the last episode, uh, there was an update last week. I think it should be last week. Uh, I'm not really sure when this is coming up. But there was an update, added a bunch of new stuff, which I will take a look at in the morning once uh, the sun goes down and I have a chance to sleep because they added a few new crafting and storage things. Uh, stick holder, sled, ah, here it is, a weapon rack, a medicine cabinet, snack bar, as well as explosives holder. So they added these new things, which is basically for... Uh, uh, multiplayer and this is really good for multiplayer since there is no way to directly trade in multiplayer except for stuff you can drop on the ground but stuff like food or uh, medicine and stuff like that you can't really drop so this is mainly for multiplayer but I will be making one just to have a look at it so uh, let's save real quick and see if we can sleep through the night ah there we go so, uh, since I have my little shelter right here, let's see if we can build one of these. Now, the weapon rack takes... is that 10 or 16? I can't really tell. I think it's 16. But uh, let's put one right about here on this side. Uh, turn it around a little bit. Which way is the front? Is that's the only real problem. I don't know. Which way is the front? I'm guessing this is the front. So if I put it like this. And then I can build it. And luckily, I have all these extra sticks to finish the building. Which is the main reason I got all of them. But yeah. There was an update last week. And uh, just like I... Uh, ooh, said it might there it did break the game for a short period of time once it was initially released and uh ooh, here we go now i should be able to press c and hang my weapon up look at that i can have spare weapons that i don't need here which is very nice but yeah like i was saying it did actually break the game which is unfortunate but luckily they were able to get a quick uh patch out to fix it. Now, this is a medicine cabinet. I don't know. Uh, I don't <laughs> think I actually need this. Mainly because it's, like I said, it's mainly for multiplayer. But I want to have one right about here. Just so I can have it built. Let's see. Uh, can we get it? I want it to be flush up against right here. Kind of like there. There we go. Now I just need a few logs. And then, bop, bop. And, uh, bop, bop. Need one more? Yeah, one more. One more log, or is it two? But yeah, this is mainly for multiplayer, since you do need to have... Since there is no way to actually trade items, you can put extra medication here to 
have it sitting right here. It's basically a way to trade items between people since there is actually no item trade thing in the game yet. So this is a this is the workaround they came up with, which is I think which I think is very nice. Though it would be more helpful if you could trade items when you're out running around and stuff like that. This is still pretty nice and it it fits, I guess. So, the uh one more item is this, which is the snack bar. And just like with the uh uh <laughs> just like with the medicine cabinet, is that right? Close? Yeah. Needs eight logs. One, two, th and just like with the medicine cabinet, it's used to trade food instead of med medicine. And there's also another one, which is the explosives holder, which, to be honest, I've never actually done anything with the explosives yet. So, uh, that is going to be interesting. Uh, I don't think I actually have enough to build the explosives holder. I've never actually built explosives, so I think I'll hold off on that. But this allows you to put snacks. I think it only works with snack bars, because you can, I don't think there's any way you can actually hold the cooked meat or anything like that. Now, there is a way to pick up berries now, and you may have seen that. I did find another rabbit, and I did make my pouch, which is this thing right here, which means if I do find some more berries, I can pick them up, put them in my pouch, and carry them with me just like this. Look, look. Uh, I should be able to pick them up using the pouch. Yep, there we go. I have the... Whoop, I have these berries in my pouch now. And I don't think I can eat them yet. But yeah, uh, here we go. We now have seven blueberries in our bag, carrying them with us, that we can just munch on. Yum. Which is very nice. Because as nice as... Ooh, no, I don't want to pick up a rock. Because as nice as having... As, as have eating blueberries is, having to eat them as soon as you find them was a bit annoying, especially if you weren't hungry enough to eat them yet. Now, these are some tiny, tiny friggin' blueberries right here. But, yeah, the way this works, you simply have to equip, equip the pouch in your hand and then click on the blueberries just as you normally would to eat them. But instead of eating them, they get put into your bag, and you can carry them around with you, which is very, very nice. It adds another bit of food you can carry around with you and use and have. Now, you can also pick up the blackberries and the white berries and the other berries that are out there. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what they're used for. I have not picked any of them up yet, but I just wanted to show you that. So, uh... There is the um, explosive rack, which I could show you. And does this work with blueberries? I don't think it works with blueberries. I'm guessing this only works with the actual snack bars. So, yeah, this is uh, completely worthless right now. And it's worthless completely right now, simply because I was already had them in my inventory, and I don't really need to have these since this is not a multiplayer thing. This, I'm not playing on multiplayer. So, yeah. Let me have a few of these sticks. How many do I have? I want to keep two or three. I'll dump one more. But, yeah. Um, something else I want to build is a... What is it? A furniture. Furniture which is this, a wooden bench. I probably should have built this before I built the snack thing, since I only needed two logs for it. But, apparently, if you sit on this, it restores your energy. Just sitting down here on it. Now, I do need two logs in order to finish this, which means I need to go cut down some more logs. So, yeah. 
Now, last time I did have a free a fishing spear that I found at that little pond while I was out exploring, and I had I had it. And I caught some fish, and that was great. Unfortunately, when I died, I lost it, which means no fishing spear right now. And yeah. And apparently you cannot actually make fishing spears. You have to find them at those little ponds. And apparently there is not a fishing spear over at this little pond right next to my house. But there is some chicory here. Chicory! Now, um, unfortunately... Let's see, what it was I wanted to talk about else? Uh, apparently effigies aren't actually working or something. They don't actually scare anybody away. I don't know if that's a bug right now or whatever, but yeah. That is unfortunate. Because George is not actually doing his job. Woo. Another thing they did... Whoa. Another thing they did <laughs> was apparently fix just how buggy this uh, log sled is. And uh, as you can see... I cannot jump. I'm pressing space and I cannot jump. Oh crap. There's a naked guy over there. There's a naked guy. I saw him. Where is he? But yeah, they changed the way the log sled works. You can uh, no longer jump while you're pushing it. Where'd he go? Where did he go? You know what I would like? Some binoculars. Are there binoculars or a spyglass or something along those lines in here? Is there something like that you can find? Because that would be very helpful right now. Being able to see off into the distance. But, uh, yeah. But as I was saying, they also changed the way the log sled functions. In that you can't jump with it. They fixed its collision a bit. And they also made it so you cannot carry logs while you're pushing it. So no more two extra logs on my way back. Which sucks a lot. It does suck a lot because um, that was very helpful actually. There's some of that. And what is here? Anything useful? Nothing? Where did that guy go? You know, I've gotten some of this stuff. I need to make bombs. Um, you need this. Combine that. Uh, some of this. Some of this. And what else is it? Coins? Yes, coins. So you can combine this into a bomb. A uh, explosive, which is very nice. So, if... Uh, I get enough logs, I might actually build the explosive rack once I am done with the... Yeah, uh, do I see anybody? No. Once I'm done with that little seat, that little bench I'm going to be making. But yeah, uh, I think I'm going to do right now is refill my logs and hopefully get all that done and come back. I mainly just wanted to come in in this episode and show you the new stuff that was added and uh, ooh, show you that <laughs> and explain some of the changes that came out with the last patch so uh, I don't see anybody so I think I'm gonna do right now is get chopping and try and refill my log holders by my base and come back in the next episode because let's see how long is this going Around 14 minutes or so, so not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to the next episode. Hopefully I'll have my logs refilled. And I'll decide what I want to do after that. I'm, I might actually go out and explore a bit more. Maybe go directly into the forest. Try not to die. And if I do build another one of those uh, temporary shelters, I might actually use it. And not just forget to save my game like an idiot. So, until next time, this has been Bobson, this has been The Forest, this has been a look at the new stuff, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.